everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're gonna make a very quick card using some of our leftover scraps from um, Seaside Escape. So we're gonna start with an eight and a half by six. Eight and a half by six, you're gonna score that in half, and that's gonna become our card. I've cut out some pieces. So these are scraps that I had left, and each one of these strips is two inches wide, so we're gonna put these centered right here. And I'm actually gonna elevate them a little bit, so I'm gonna add some chipboard to it. Okay. Okay, they need to be five and a half inches. That's gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna glue it this way because we're going to add the other piece just like so. <clears throat> And this is just scrap uh, chipboard that I have left over. I use it to back my um, embellishments. I prefer it over foam usually, although on a card, um, foam is a great idea because it keeps it light and also you can compress it in an envelope. But this is for demonstration purposes, so I'm going to use my chipboard. Okay, so now this whole thing is gonna go right on here. gonna give us a little volume, a little elevation. I think that makes it interesting. We're gonna center it here. I'm using um, a larger border than I do on my albums. It's an eighth inch, and I think that's appropriate for cards. I think it looks better. More white around it. <clears throat> okay, now I've, uh, this was a frame. Let me show you what, I, what it started as. I'm gonna find one of my other scraps right here okay it's not exactly the same frame but it um on the one side you have this um, decorative card on the other side you have a frame so i chose this frame and i cut out the center and then this was one of the images so i just scaled it down and put it inside the frame and added a layer of chipboard and that's going to go right here and i think this is a great uh companion card if you're gifting the little six by six album. Okay, that's gonna go right here. And then this is the same thing, it's another frame. This came out of one of the cut aparts. It was um, a seaside scene and this umbrella. So I cut it down to fit inside this empty frame. And then this was fussy cut from one of the scraps. Um, I basically fussy cut one of these flower clusters and that's gonna go right here. Oops, I need a layer of chipboard here, I forgot, because this is up one level. So this corner doesn't need chipboard, the other three do. So let me do that real quick. And you could use a um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, you could put a, a, a dimensional flower here too if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but you could. I think that'll fit. It's a little too long. A little, little piece down here. I've got a little piece right here. Okay. Now this is going to go overlay the frame that we already have in place, just like so. Okay, and I think the elevation really makes this interesting because you can see that the, the frame is not laying directly uh, on this image. Okay, and I pre-glued that. This also has a layer of chipboard behind it so you can see single level, single level down here, and then we've got this one with two layers. This is from the sticker sheet. It says our seaside escape. I'm going to overlay our seaside, which means I need to put a little chipboard behind it so it's at the same level as the frame. <clears throat> it needs to be a little bit smaller. There we 
There we go. I'm going to put it so that there's red all the way around it. I think that makes it a little bit more interesting. Otherwise it sort of disappears. And then here's the escape. And this is gonna go directly onto the red. There we go. And then of course this looks a little naked, so we're gonna add a little bird here. So this is a seagull that I cut out and I put a piece of chipboard behind it to uh, elevate it slightly. The wing is gonna glue directly onto um, the, the frame. And then the bird will be, the back end of the bird will be slightly elevated. And I'm putting a second layer of chipboard. for just a second and that's our little cute little card isn't that pretty so simple and then on the inside I'm just gonna put this little guy in the corner just like so and then you've got lots of room for sentiment and I'm gonna glue him flat so that the card will lay flat when it's closed and this guy also came from one of the little cut aparts he was the second half of this image so there you go. I'm gonna pull the album back in. So you've got a nice little card to give with your simple little gift. And as you can see, there's bits, there's a lot more left over, so you could definitely make some more cards. Also, if you wanted to do a different style album, this card could be glued directly into your album as um, a place to put photos, right? So sometimes if you're feeling overwhelmed about designing an album, design a series of cards and then just apply the cards to your pocket pages as the um, interactive elements of your album. So there's a tip from Daphne. Um, thanks everybody for uh, joining me to make this cute little card. And now it's so giftable. See you soon.